Hello class, I would like to introduce the strategic marketing plan, which is a vital part of our class. It is a project, it is divided into two weeks. Week five you submit a portion and then week six you submit the final portion. And the objective is to conduct an internal and external analysis of the industry competition and understand the marketing mix in order to devise a strong strategic marketing plan for an organization. So in week five, you'll be completing the first two sections of the strategic marketing plan. And this plan is based on your new shoes simulation company. Part one includes the situation analysis, which is the internal analysis, the market description, the current marketing mix, and the environmental analysis. And section two that you will also be submitting in week two includes the objectives and issues and the marketing strategy consisting of branding, positioning, and the target market. So now I would like to take a look at the strategic marketing plan guidelines. Okay, so the objective of this plan, as we discussed earlier, is to create a viable strategic marketing plan. In addition to the information that was discussed earlier, you will also be analyzing the controls and marketing actions. Um, I just recommend that you review the strategic marketing plan guideline in detail so that you can have a clear understanding of the assignment and the objectives. Again, it is divided into two parts. I will only discuss uh, the information that is vital to week five in this particular presentation. And keep in mind, you will be using your new shoe simulation company for this assignment, so ensure that you research and get information from the simulation as well as from outside sources to ensure that the project is complete. In addition, I am asking that you get as creative as possible because I would love to see a unique approach to marketing your company. Um, the total plan will be seven to nine pages in the length, and I have outlined in the guidelines section the minimum requirements for each section. In addition, with all written assignments, ensure that the, the, the paper is APA formatted, include scholarly support throughout, and use the rubrics and the template that I provided to uh, assist you. Okay, so let's look at the expectations for week five. When we look at the Situation analysis, that includes the internal and environmental analysis. So the internal analysis means that you will be doing background research on the company, providing a company history, and sharing information about the product. That should be about one half of the page. When you're looking at the market description, this is the competitor's analysis. You're going to share a description of your competitors and their strategy. That is also one half page. I have switched over to the template here, so just to show you what it should look like. Um, share your company history. Now you don't have to include a chart, but if you do, maybe you have some data um, based on the research about the company, and please feel free to include that, okay? Now when we're talking about the competitor's analysis, I would like to see an overview of the product comp competition. So it should look something like this, competitor A, their strengths, weaknesses, how much market share they have, their current marketing strategy, competitor B, same thing. So you want to make sure that you're sharing at least two to three different competitors in your market and share that specifically in terms of strengths, weaknesses, their market share, and current marketing strategy. Okay, and after you've done all that, we're going to talk about the current marketing mix, which means what is your new shoe simulation company doing today in terms of the existing product price distribution and promotion. That should be three-fourths of a page, and then you're also going to discuss the SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and I also like to include trends if possible there, and that should be one page in length, and that will conclude section one. Now moving back to the template, in terms of the marketing mix, you should, should share a description situation for each existing mix. Review the current marketing mix, for example, for product, describe the product or service to be marketed, place, share the distribution strategy, pricing, what is the cost to the company to produce it, as well as how much you're going to charge the consumer. Promote, 
So in terms of pricing, you want to look at how much you are pricing it to wholesalers as well as retailers. And then finally, promotions. What promotions are you offering the, the end user, uh, retailers, wholesalers, etc.? Okay, so finally, in part one of the assignment, you will con conclude with the SWOT analysis, which is the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, and also trends of the organization. Now keep in mind that the strengths and weaknesses are internal to the organization, meaning what is the company doing well, what are the areas of, of, of the, where they can improve. Now externally, uh, that's the opportunities, threats, and trends. And it's external because opportunities could be there's something out there uh, in the marketplace that you haven't done yet. There might be a target market that you need to reach. Threats could be your competitors. They're doing something different that you should be doing. So look at it from that perspective. And then the trends, what is happening in the future that will impact your target market? You know, is there something that's going to happen? What is the latest trend? Who knew, you know, that everything was going to be, um, you could get everything on the phone you know everything on your phone from the internet to apps and all this stuff people didn't know this back maybe 20 years ago or maybe it was projected 10 years ago so you need to know what trends are happening in the next 10 to 15 years or even the next five years it will impact your business so that you can prepare for that and be on top of the trend when it does happen okay so now we're on to part two of the marketing plan. Again, this is also due in week five. You're going to share the objectives and issues, at least two that are specific and measurable. Um, at least one sentence for each objective. Examples include increased product awareness by 15% among the new target audience identified within one year through direct mail and email advertising. That's very specific. It tells you the measure, which is 15%, and it also shows you how you're going to get there. You're also going to conduct or create the marketing strategy, share the branding, explain how the product will be branded, what branding strategy will be used and why, positioning, share how the product will be viewed as compared to the competition, the target market, are you going to divide the target market and use market segmentation? And let's look at the template for completing part two. Okay, so now I'm just showing you the template for completing part two, which is the market analysis. Um, everything here is similar to what I just described. But I just want to see, let you see how uh, it should be written out and formatted in the Word file. And also, if you find something like with the competition or price or performance that you want to include in there in a chart, there's a chart there for you. You do not have to include charts, but charts are always welcome, and they make for fabulous projects. Okay, class, so as a reminder, in week five, you'll have to complete sections one and two of the marketing plan. Um, this may take a while for you to do, so I encourage you to start working on this early on in the course so that you're prepared. And as you're developing your new shoe simulation in terms of completing that branding assignment and other assignments such as advertising, you can then incorporate all that information uh, into your final project. In addition to that, you will see under parameters that I have shared with you um, two documents, the marketing plan guidelines, as well as the marketing plan template. I encourage you to use a template because I've basically shared how to type up the marketing plan. And in terms of the guidelines, the guidelines lays out uh, how many pages or are required for each section, whether it's half a page, you know, three-fourths of a page, one page. That way you have a better idea of how much you should be writing. And finally, you know, just keep in mind that scholarly resources are recommended. Make this paper as professional as possible and pleasing to the eye. I would also like to remind everyone that under the Student Resources tab, um, there are resources available for each week since this is Unit 5. There are several articles that provide information about marketing as well as distribution. But even more than that, I have provided a video 
uh, two videos actually one on place and promotion and one on the secrets of branding all which are applicable uh, to your final project so I do recommend that you go to the student resources area let me move over here go to the student resources area in the classroom go to the appropriate week this week we're in week five and review that material because I believe it will be useful um, when completing the final project and keep in mind even though it is the final project it is doing week six and not week seven which is something important to note which means that the earlier you work on it or start working on it the better and again if you have any questions concerns issues you're lost don't know exactly what I'm looking for please contact me and I will be more than happy to work with you provide examples for you do whatever I can to ensure your success in the course okay thank you so much